So put the sink in here. Along the back, we get some uh, refrigerators. Uh, I like I like to have a lot of cookers. So, all right, we'll put that in there and there. There'll be a space. It'll be fine. I'll put the cookers. We'll put a cooker here, here, and here. And we won't spend any more on cookers for now. And now we just gotta make sure the cookers actually need electric running right to them. So that one would be good. That one would be good. I think they drop it under them when you place them. We'll go ahead and run that just in case. The refrigerator is going to need it as well. So we'll run the electrical back here. And then we need to start actually running some piping. All right. So we'll go ahead and kick the speed down just a bit for now. Because uh, I, think, I think things are moving too fast. I'm not ready for this pressure. All right. We'll do some big pipe right here. And we'll run this small pipe into the cell here. And we're going to put some toilets in there. That's the reason we're running that there. Uh, we actually need to run this large pipe one more, I think, because I don't think it connects to the end for some reason. All right. Um, the kitchen's going to need it, so let's go ahead and just run a... I don't really know what the advantage is. Um, like, to be between the big pipes and the small pipes, I don't know, like, if there is something in the game, like, where you need to have um, the pipes, like, you need to get more water to a certain place. I don't really know if that's there. It doesn't seem like it's there that I've seen, so... I don't really know what the difference is between the pipes... But it seems to make sense that you need to run bigger ones sometimes, so I don't actually need all that. Alright, and we're going to need water down here as well, so we'll go ahead and run a water line off. And we'll run the water all the way around the edge here. Because uh, we're going to put shower heads just everywhere in this room. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go to rooms here. Zone in a shower, like so. And this is doing fine with three capacitors, good. I keep calling them capacitators, I think it's capacitor. But whatever, don't judge. All right, shower heads. So we'll do like it's uh, probably good there. This is probably this is probably plenty for now. I don't think we'll need much at all just for make this good. So we'll just do that, and then we'll do drains. We'll just do some center drains. Water always seems to pour out for me, anyways. I can't. I haven't really figured out how drains are supposed to work. So you know, if anyone has like the great words of wisdom for getting that out, let me know. All right, we're going to put some toilet in here, some toilet, toilettes, um, so people can go poop. And they have to poop in the middle of this room um, because, you know, it's prison. You don't get a, you don't get to have dignity here, that's what I'm saying. All right, so plenty center. We don't need three toilets in there. We'll get rid of that. Good, good. All right, we're not going to build. I have roads mapped out here. We're not going to actually build the roads for now. Uh, we've got a couple of offices that are good. The sink still does not have water running to it. Why is that? You working on it? You guys working on it? All right. We'll give you guys three times speed for now just to make sure you can get everything done here. All right. We'll um, go ahead and grab out a yard. Um, not not a yard stick. Uh, we'll make the yard right there for now, even though it's kind of in the middle of everything, which kind of sucks. Uh, we'll expand it down here, maybe. We're going to go ahead and run along the edge of the buildings. I like to put phone booths along the edge of the buildings. Um, all right. So, phone booths. Turn... And we'll do like, we'll do four of those for now. And then we need to run electrical cable right to it. Like that. And so each of those get it. Uh, another good thing to put out here so people can physical exertion. Uh, people need some weight benches to be good. Uh, and so the, the prisoners can, you know, be like, ooh, I got bigger muscles than you. And they'll be like, no, I have bigger muscles than you. And then, I am not left handed either. It'll kind of happen like that is what I'm picturing. All right. Uh, we'll do... Where is the fence? We're going to run a fence right here to block that off. And we're going to run a fence right here to make sure no one is escaping this prison. Fantastic. All right. This is looking pretty good. I mean, look at that. We've, we've covered barely any of our plot right now, but that's fine. All right. Um, what do we got left for the basic detention? Our two guards. We got a shower yard. Wait, why, do we not, why does the yard not qualify? Why is he... Oh, there's no fence, yeah. That'll happen. Oh, okay, we need two chefs. And, okay, sweet. So we'll do prisoners. We'll turn on, um, whoa, whoa, whoa not high risk, not high risk. We'll turn on intake on low risk prisoners as they get the fence up here and finish off all these showers. Uh, we're going to have prisoners in soon, so hopefully this fence gets up really soon. So, guys, um, no pressure, but if you don't get set, you fail, and you're fired. Okay, um, we're going to have to hire a warden. So, warden, you're in, buddy. Uh, I like how they never go to the places I want them to. We're going to need a couple guards at least. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to hire a couple chefs. Which will be fine. Alright. 
So utilities, how is this going, guys? Why is there no water? Oh, did it get, like cut off at the fridge, maybe? Let's go ahead and just like do weirdness up there. Sometimes like plumbing and electrical in this game, I have trouble with. I don't know. I don't know why. I have issues. Um, yeah, these toilets are not getting water for some reason either. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Nothing in the whole prison is getting water, guys. Because I'm stupid. Alright, that needs to be run like that. Someone get in there and do that, please, for me. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm stupid, guys. There we go. Alright. Good, good. We're ready for prisoners, and we'll make some more money once prisoners get in, too. Which will be great. Alright, these guys get these pipes up, and we're going to be all set, guys. Ready? Get that last pipe in. And... All these things stop flashing. Why have they not all stopped flashing? Oops, I clicked on bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Uh, we can go ahead and do this, actually. Let's go ahead and start researching some stuff. I kind of like cleaning because I'm weird. And I like, like, the prison gets dirty, and I don't like how it looks when it's dirty. All right. This is cool. Prisoners are going to come in soon. We are, we are all set for the most awesome bunch of guys ever. And there are two doors just sitting in the middle of our street because our delivery is probably too full. Or maybe I accidentally placed those out there to dismantle. Are they actually placed there? No, they're just sitting there. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, world. Okay, we might go ahead because it doesn't really do us any harm. And there's a storage here. Uh, yeah. We can just go ahead and put some storage up here, I guess. All right. That way, some of those doors and stuff, they can go there. It won't be a big deal. Cool. All right, another thing we could do, we go ahead and set up here, will be some lights. So we'll go ahead and throw a light there, there, and there. And I don't think we need electricity running to those. So when you build rooms like how I did with the big room builder thing, it automatically plays the lights. Oh, my gosh. This room looks terrible. Dismantle you, Bench. Dismantle you. All right, this table I never placed back. It needs to go like there. And this bench needs to go here, here, and a bench there. There we go. People, I, I think they're probably going to carry those benches all the way out to the storage and then carry them all the way back in. Because my workers are smart. They're very smart. So once we get prisoners in, all these doors are going to close. And it is a little more difficult to get around because the guards have to go open them up for them. But that's not a huge deal, I don't think. I will be happy either way. So, great, great, great. You guys got the tables in here. You guys will be preparing meals soon. Um... I might be worth it to have um, expendable income right now. Uh, and when you have money, uh, here's a good life lesson, kids. When you have money, spend it as soon as possible. On cookers. Only on cookers. Because you, because we can't call a stove a stove and an oven an oven. Uh, I guess that is a good reason. Because it is a stove and an oven. But in this game, they literally only use the oven part. So, you know. And the stove part, not the oven part. Gosh dang. Now I'm all messed up. Cool. Let's get... Uh, Wait, what's the bottom of the desk? Get a desk here. And that way we're prepped for some more employees soon. Because we're going to need lots of employees. Plus, I feel rich right now. So, and I must waste money when, I'm, when I feel rich. Alright, I think we're good. We, oh yeah, we even got the grant done. Alright, we got to unlock finance and bureaucracy. I forgot about that. So, bureaucracy, finance. That way we can get an accountant, which is actually important. Uh, another thing I, I really want to get in bureaucracy, I really like to have, is... Um, I think it's mental health. Uh, yeah, you can see this uh, in sites on like information about each of your prisoners or whatever. It's something like that. Um, it's really, really helpful to get things done. So we're going to waste a bunch more money here just to be safe. Because uh, I, I just forget about this, so I like to spend the money early just to get it done, get extra capacitors. All right, prisoners have arrived, guys. Where are our guys? Where are our men? All right, they're sitting out here in deliveries, uh, which is great, uh, along with all the doors. And they're like, hey, this guy. Um, what's, what's, what's your name, buddy? Paul Batty. He is sitting out there like, Hey, I wonder what all these doors are for. <gasps> Maybe they don't have doors on my jail cell. And, you know, I got news for you, Mr. Paul Batty. You don't get a jail cell. Because <laughs> I'm a terrible, or terrible warden. And I'm gonna run a piece of pipe here just so this warning goes away. Or a piece of wire thing. Because that's annoying me. So, you know what? You're all going to the holding cell. And that's where you're gonna chill. Forever. Alright. <laughs>